friends upsc mains results are going to come out in another 2 weeks this is the right time to prepare for upsc personality test if you wait till the results and if your interview is in the beginning of the upsc interview schedule then you will get really less time to prepare on all the current affairs to work on your daf and also to learn about your region your state your background also if there are some drawbacks or if there are some problems in your communication or if you have to learn or gain strength in conversation you may not have enough time so start preparation from now and this preparation will not go waste it will be helpful for you in your next attempt also if at all you want write the examination again to improve your rank this preparation will really help you so in this video i am going to tell you some common mistakes that we identified among the candidates when we have done the mock interviews in the last few years so if you work on these things and if you try to avoid these things we, in this video i will even tell you how to work on these things and how to avoid these things if you do that your score will really improve a lot also friends our academy has also started the interview guidance program you can register for the program this free interview guidance program using the link in the description below so our interview guidance program will have six components broadly the most important thing is one on one sessions wherein an expert or a senior bureaucrat or even a recent upsc topper who scored good marks in the interview in the personal test they will sit with you and they will discuss certain issues of the daf even important expected questions from your daf will be discussed we will generate some hard questions some 100 to 200 questions we will generate on your daf on which you can prepare and then you will have next one on one session so this one on one sessions will happen on different aspects of daf some sessions will be on the current affairs some sessions will be on your opinion to know your opinion on various issues so this one on one session is very important according to me than the mock interviews then comes the importance of mock interviews mock interviews is generally a five panel board that includes a professor senior bureaucrat and i will be there and some experts will be there we will be giving you the feedback on your interview performance so that the minute mistakes that you may commit in the mock interviews can be rectified before you go to the final interview also group discussions are really important friends there will be peer group questioning that means your group for example we will make you into we will uh, make some groups and the group will be asking questions to you you will be on the stage the group will ask questions to you and you have to answer those questions that's what we call as peer group questioning and group discussion in fact according to me only through the group discussions you can develop the conversation skills and in fact your opinions can be criticized through these discussions from which you can develop better opinions or you can develop a more balanced opinion more acceptable opinions then there will be separate df sessions for these groups wherein we'll tell you how to fill the df form what you have to avoid in filling the df form can you really write too many hobbies or can you really you know write too many things in the df writing upon which say if you write too many things you have to work proportionately you have to work extra on all those things to score more marks so we'll be discussing on all those things also these sessions will be conducted both online as well as offline offline is only in hyderabad vijayawada but online also these things will be there all these things will be there but offline one additional thing in the offline session is mirror practice mirror practice of course you can do it in your home but we really focus on the mirror practice because self analysis self understanding of your the, the way you answer the question your expressions you can understand it through mirror practicing so don't forget doing this even online also in your home you can do it friends now so this is our last year's uh, mock interview board now i would come to today's topic today's topic as i told you i am telling you few common mistakes that you need to avoid the most important one that you need to avoid is lack of conversation what happens is most of the candidates treat upsc personal test interview as a viva voice 
they expect means they will be expecting some questions for which they want to give some three or four lines answer generally viva voice is test of knowledge in viva voice of a college test of knowledge they ask question you show your knowledge and keep quiet but this is a conversation upsc interview process is a conversation discussion so you should know how to do a conversation what we identified most of the candidates they talk like question and answer session like a normal formal interview but how should you how can you keep it conversational what should you do according to me you have to participate in more group discussions or if you have peer group sit with them discuss on various topics have a have a long conversations even in the one on one sessions that we are going to conduct on your daf on various issues of daf you can practice having long conversations that's the only way you can score more in the interview also one problem we identified with most of the candidates is that for any question they give one or two points in the keep quiet so they will not have a flow of thoughts flow of ideas they will not be trying to tell more points they will tell one or two points and they stop the answer that shall be avoided so what practice you have to do before going to interview in order to avoid this mistake is brainstorming just like how before going to the upsc mains examination you take some questions and brainstorm similarly here also you take some expected questions on df sit your friends or peer group or sit in the group discussions that we are conducting and try to take a topic have brainstorming generate more and more points you should be able to generate more points for a given question so that the same can be done in the interview also so interview they will really love a candidate who will have a flow of thought flow of ideas multiple points rather than sticking yourself to one or two points particularly in one 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 sessions in some sessions we would be putting you under stress by asking a chain of questions which you may not be able to answer so once you undergo this kind of session in the actual interview any kind of question would appear very easy to you friends really this thing cannot be developed by mock interviews through mock interviews you cannot develop this habit this habit can be developed only by group discussions brainstorming sessions and one on one then another thing that we observed is that most of the candidates will gain the factual knowledge but they will not form opinion in the interview during the interview process then and there what they want to create their opinion see that can happen for few questions but most of the questions i would say you should have ready made opinion for example on russia ukraine war what is india stand do you agree with it you should have an opinion or a framed opinion for example the policies by most of the european countries presently in this economic crisis in opinion are the right or wrong you should have an opinion already or for example the way usa is dealing with china in your opinion is it right or wrong so you should have fixed opinions my suggestion is try to take the current affairs important issues hot issues debatable issues develop your opinion put the opinion before us for example we will be uh, conducting some one on one sessions where the questions will be only on these issues to know your opinion once you tell your opinion we criticize it based on that your opinion can be improved in order to make it more balanced opinion and Ha not having any opinion is a major mistake which you should not do in the upsc interviews one more thing to suggest is read any magazine for example in the newspaper the articles are will have limited information to develop an opinion however if you read any monthly magazine for example i suggest frontline magazine in that magazine some 8 to 10 articles will be there elaborated discussed so if you read those elaborately discussed articles you will have in depth analysis based on which you can develop a well informed opinion evidence based approach is possible so use the next few weeks of time preparing for upsc interview by reading magazines on important issues friends one more thing is one mistake that we observed is most common mistake for most of the questions the candidate after listening to the question after listening to the question they will start answering in one dimension in the dimension they'll elaborate they'll talk at length almost 2 3 minutes in the dimension only but our advice is rather than that take a dimension tell one or two points go to another dimension tell to one or two points like that just like how you write mains answer in multi dimensional approach 360 degrees approach is very important in the upsc interview also so one thing you can do is you can write for example take a notes take important topics from daf or important current affairs 
take them and write write the multiple you know uh, points write multi dimensional answers for those questions which you expect in the ups interview and revise them again and again just like how you do for ups mains that way when you go to the interview any question asked from this area you will have ready made points multi dimensional points will be there in your mind which you can easily elaborate in the interview also another thing is lying in the df in the df some hobbies which you do not have you, you might have written or some activities which you which you might not have done you would have written because most of the candidates really do not have any good hobby specific hobby specific interest means that they may not uh, pursue any hobby or interest in the last few years so they will write some fake hobby fake hobby in the sense they will lie their hobby or activity and they would not be able to justify it in the ups interview because of which the mocks drastically fall down because honesty is a very important trait they test in the ups interview i am calling personal test as interview so avoid lying if you are unable to fill da properly you can approach somebody for example as i told you in our interview guidance program also there will be da filling session where you can discuss with your uh, you know mentor about what you want to fill for example in this particular column i don't have anything to fill then the mentor will discuss with you ask you may not be now 5 years back 10 years back have done anything interesting if anything interesting then we'll elaborate that we'll write in the df like that you should have discussion and then fill the df form but let us say you have lied wrote some lies in the df and submitted now you cannot change it in such a case how should you justify it substantiate it in the actual interview that is really a lengthy difficult process because there you are justifying something which is not true so you have to work on both both these things friends another thing observed is see you may be humble you may be humble you may have humility but you may come across as a person who is arrogant because of your language for example if you want to ask them to repeat the question you cannot simply tell them that kya sir tell again you cannot tell like this you have to tell in a humble way or for example if you do not know certain uh, answer for a question you cannot simply say no sir means your language sometimes appears as if you are arrogant not only these two examples there are many other examples when instances very absurd that the candidate comes across as an arrogant candidate so those things can be checked by mock interviews generally in the mock interview uh, we find those things and also we will help you working on the language even you have to in discussion with your friends also try to work on your language to come as a person humble same time another mistake we observe is some people are over humble i mean they they are like submissive they are as if they are begging in the interview to get more marks they come to submit themselves whatever the board member says they'll accept it sometimes the board member's opinion you may not accept you may deny it you can you know you can say that sir you know uh, i beg to differ with your opinion with your view you can tell that you cannot simply accept everything that is said so don't be completely submissive at same time you should not be arrogant also a balance is required i have seen candidates who are not all humble i have seen candidates who are over submissive also see basically this is something which i always tell to the candidates we have to walk in like an officer to come out as one so an officer is somebody who is very clear about what he knows or does not know if he does not know he'll tell that i do not know in a very humble way if he knows he will go to any extent to substantiate his opinion without accepting their opinion unless or until it is logically better than his opinion so that is very important friends even body language problems which generally in the mock interviews you observe means you may not know it you might not you might not observe it means in the group discussions or one on one it is not visible but in the mock interview it is visible generally in the mock interview what happens is as five different people ask questions sometimes your movement of hands movement of eyes or I me mean, see you cannot say see you cannot say that every action of you shall be changed because you should be natural yourself only but certain small changes may be required not everybody some people may be required in order to you know keep yourself as a person who is more acceptable to the board friends arguing i observed sometimes not only in the mock interviews in the real interviews also after our students Uh, after going to interview when they come back from interview they tell me they explain that sir this is the topic on which i differed with the opinion of the board member so there is an argument the board member started telling why he is correct and i started telling why i am correct friends see it's always good to have 
a kind of debate healthy discussion conversation but don't get into the arguments so getting into arguments will seriously hinder you know your chances of getting very high marks so this is a major mistake never do it when it goes to that level try to learn how to avoid it try to learn how to avoid the argument so in the mock interviews we generally observe it friends then some students what happens you know they do not try to lead the interview what are questions are coming they'll answer and they'll keep quiet but my suggestion is whatever questions are asked you know while telling the answer try to put in some interesting curious facts try to tell some good examples experiences so that the board member will ask his next question based on this one so you have to lead the interview so you have to leave some hints in your answer you have to leave some hints which are interesting to everybody so that they will pick up that hint and ask the next question see in the board members do not come up with a set of questions and they do not want to ask you those questions they come they come there only to have a discussion with you so you have to try to lead the discussion lead the conversation by leaving certain curious things so your answer should be very passionate with a lot of energy you should not be dull and boring you should be energetic enthusiastic tell some curious points only then they will love to continue the discussion otherwise they will leave the topic go to the next topic so as they go to more and more topics there are less chances that you get very good marks so if you are energetic enthusiastic curious and tell important points the discussion will go on on that on those lines and there are high chance of you getting very good marks so don't do the mistake of leaving everything on to the board member you try to lead the interview as i told you have energy how how to have energy practice for example sometimes your friends may have told you that the way you talk is very boring for example some people say yes sir, i came from hyderabad sir i am from Israel. i mean you do not know that you are boring but when you, the, in the mock interviews or friends when they tell you you try to shoot it for example in our interview guidance program we actually record the interview and show it to the candidate when you see yourself answering those questions you will understand how boring your answers are so try to develop some methods means your unique methods we do not ask you to be like anybody else try to add some energy into your answers try different methods and see finally which one is suiting you better but you shall you should do that you should do that friends one more thing many students prepare on current affairs topic on df they prepare for example df you are from uh, you are from lucknow preparing on lucknow or you are from you are working in some bank you prepare on the bank see just prepare on the things on df but no that's not enough you have to write the possible questions that can be asked those possible questions you can take from in, from somebody from a mentor from friends or senior aspirants or somebody who has gone to interview for example in our interview guidance program also we give you 100 to 200 possible questions you have to work on the possible questions if you directly go to the interview without working possible questions definitely every question will be new to you see friends in the interview at least 50 percent of questions should be already known to you so that you'll have that uh, confidence of answering them better okay so don't do this mistake of going to interview in fact you have to make a note on all important questions and answers also prepare another another mistake that you should avoid is that in the interview when they ask you a question if you know the question if you know the answer very well immediately they will start answering do not do that take a pause so that you can think about it and you can start with a better point for example you may know the answer for the question but if you think for a few seconds you may come up with better points than the points which you have told instantaneously so take a pause friends generally while preparing for upsc prelims or mains you will never read your local issues of course not required because in upsc most national international affairs will be there the local level the regional level you know uh, knowledge is not required in prelims and mains but in the interview they question you more on your locality or region so try to spend much time on those things start reading the local newspaper for these next uh, few months while preparing for the personality test and also no this is a very common thing we know how to tell no most of the people know that sorry sir do not know i'm sorry sir i could not recollect it we know how to tell but if there are more and more questions that you're unable to answer you should not be bogged down what happens is as they ask more and more questions which you are uncomfortable with or which you are not very clear about 
most of the candidates they try to tell some fake answer because they feel that you should not tell no more times but an officer is somebody who is very clear about this question i know i will answer i do not know you will not answer as simple as that the confidence which you show in answering a known question same confidence you have to show in telling no to a question does not know so you have to have that clarity what you know what you don't know the more clear you are you can tell no more confidently you can tell no for 50 percent questions also in interview let us say there are some 30 questions you do not know 15 questions it's okay what can you do just because you do not know you cannot start uh, faking the answer right making up the answer so inability to say no is a major mistake you should learn how to say no and don't lie and your confidence should, should not fall down just because you don't know many questions your confidence should not fall down even if 10, 10 questions you do not know maintain the same confidence that is very important in the interview friends one thing what we observe generally not only in the mock and outside also what observed is before you the board member completes the question they start answering in the UPSC means also some students before completely reading the question, they will start answering the question. You should not do that. Listen to the question completely, take a break, understand it, then answer. This is a very common mistake. Because what happens, you know, in the UPSC, the board members are little experienced, little old. So their questions are longer. They ask a question for almost like two, three minutes. You should have patience to listen. You should be a very good listener. Have patience, listen to the question completely, take a break and then answer. Never try to answer it in between. Okay. Friends, uh, as I told you, we are starting an interview guidance program. You can register for this free UPSC interview guidance program using the below link in the description. Thank you. All the best.